guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're back here with my friend Gil at Fusion Motor Company. Honestly about to shoot one of my all-time top three favorite muscle cars ever. 1970 Superbird. So the couple of obvious things, right? You've got the massive aero package nose and right. then the gigantic wing. Uh, yeah, and, and, and you know, I think till this day, nobody really can put their finger as to why the wing is as high as it is, yeah. I, we've, we've, we've all read. The Daytona was the first American car to ever uh, enjoy wind tunnel testing, you know, which is huge. And that was, the first, huge. that was the first car to hit, in NASCAR to hit 200 miles an hour, right? And can, you, can you imagine? You know, I mean, On these tires? 200 I miles an hour in, a, in, a, in, in today's supercar is still intense intense and, and gnarly feeling. And can you just imagine rumbling down the road in this thing with, with the brakes and the tires and the suspension? I mean, no, no those, possible way. Those race car drivers were no possible way. Different, uh, different breed for sure. Which, which that leads to another misnomer that you know, like I think, like a lot of people, I was a little misled in hearing different rumors. Right, rumors about that this car was banned from NASCAR. Right. Not true at all. Not true at all. I mean, I, 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 I think that what they were really trying to achieve was a little bit of safety, you know, and these cars suddenly came out of nowhere going 200 miles an hour. They didn't ban them because of the nose or because of the, about the arrow wing or anything like that. You know, they, they just put restrictions on motor size that made it inefficient to have the type of downforce and drag that these right. cars, you know, presented. So right. you, you're Because they either kept the same engine size, but now they were going to have to add weight to it, slow it correct. down, or they have to go down to a max of a 305 cubic inch correct. motor, again, slowing it down. Plymouth says we're done. One we're year done. and done. That's it. The rules changed because of these cars, you know, and that in itself is something that we have to look back at one day, you know, as a major part of automotive history. This was For sure. the car, you know, For and it sure. had a short run, but it was the car. These cars sell what? Well over a hundred on sure. up to depending on the pedigree of the car. I mean they sure. could they could go. We've seen numbers. we've seen nice nice examples trade in the mid twos, you know, so yeah, they're they're very desirable and they just didn't make that many of them. But now that's where it's funny is that it's become desirable. But back in the day, yes, these would sit on dealership lots for a while. Couldn't give them away. And even to the point where didn't they, they removed the front end, right? And made it yeah. look like a roadrunner. They removed the wing to make it, and now it's just back to being a roadrunner. Now this one, uh, before we started shooting, you were saying it's, it, it's the 440, it's not the 426 Hemi. Correct. And it's also the single four barrel, not the six pack. Correct. You know, truth be told, it's the least desirable combination. You know, that's the truth, but it doesn't right. mean that it's not desirable. It's just, you know, a Hemi Superbird is incredibly hard to find. This car still gets up and goes. It's still a potent 440. It is a column mm -hmm. shift automatic with, with a bench. Of course, the, the beep beep horn actually works, which is totally cool. <laughs> You know, and uh, Gotta love that. I, I don't remember if I read this exactly or not, but I think that that Chrysler paid something in the in the neighborhood of fifty thousand dollars or something like that to, to get the to tone. get the rights to use that horn. And again, when when you're talking about nineteen you know nineteen seventy, fifty thousand dollars is is it's a wow. lot of money today. It's a it, lot. It of, it's an exorbitant amount of money That's right. in nineteen seventy. Yeah, you know, definitely. so but yeah, I mean, this thing is is you know it's all original on the inside. It's 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 a it's a well preserved. You said car. it is the numbers matching engine in this. It car. is. It is a numbers matching engine That's in the crazy. car, and there's also something cool on the air cleaner. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, you know, we spoke uh, again, obviously, about the fact that this car was used to lure uh, Richard Petty, you know, the king, back to Chrysler, and this mm -hmm. particular car on the air cleaner is actually signed by Richard Petty. Oh, I love that, uh, which man. is pretty That's cool. So neat. You know, I mean, you know, it's a pretty cool little thing to have. I yeah, think. yeah. So this yeah. was the other shocker to me. I didn't know they all had a vinyl top. Every super, every single Superbird Correct. has a vinyl top to cover up, kind of the not so good work of modifying it. Well, man, let's let's do the let's do the fun part. Let's get cameras in here and uh, let's go for a drive. I, I'm I'm losing my mind that I get to drive <laughs> a friggin' Superbird. So make, we're gonna make, go drive. Make some guys. dreams happen. Let's do it. You're a little bit taller than I am, but I still don't think you can see the end of this thing, can you? No. Yeah. No All way. I see is hood pins. That's it. Watch the eyes bulge out of everybody around us. Oh, I believe it. Yep, feels 
feels like it's got, what is it, about 375, something like feels, that? Feels about right. I feel the bias ply tires grabbing every little sure. every little thing in the road. And here comes the 1970 suspension over railroad crossing. Go, 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 go. What's the color? Lemon Twist? Lemon Twist. Chrysler had the best. You know, listen, marketing-wise, they just, you know, it was so cool. Oh, I agree. You know? Yeah, sublime you know, green. Plum, plum crazy. I mean, you know, just, they were so cool. Yeah. It might not be fast, but I'm driving a Superbird right now, man. <laughs> I mean, this is one of those definite making my dream come true, bro. <laughs> I love it. Sure is. The one and only, man. <laughs> Classic, man. Sure Thank you, is, sir. isn't it? 440. Yeah. No, it's the four, four barrel. barrel. Yeah. Beautiful. Original wing car. Sure oh, yeah. is, yeah. No, no we did not do this resto. We we acquired this car just like this. Like you see here. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. It's really funny. There's, you know, like you, I drive a lot of cars that turn heads. Mm -hmm. This seems to be one that probably turns head. Look, I mean, this guy's running out shooting mm -hmm. it right now. Mm -hmm. This probably turns heads more than any car I've ever been in. Look at this guy looking. Yeah. Look at the little, even the little kids were just looking. Well, and you know, we, we've done a couple of episodes with some pretty radical cars, right? The turn heads because they're so loud or radical, right? You yeah. Know, but, but this thing, it's not. It's quiet and you're just cruising. And, and, and look, there's a little line of people standing outside looking yep. at this thing, you know? So. Yeah, it's it's... It's just that freakish of a car. Think it'll burn them up? You think? I it's think I'd sticky, have to put my foot on the brake. It's a sticky day. Yeah, I think I'd have to put my foot on the brake. It did it. It spun them. It spun them. And it pointed dead nuts straight. Dead yeah. nuts. Listen, big block. Yeah. Big thanks to my friends over here at Fusion Motors for making one of my dreams come true, a true, true bucket list today, getting to drive a Superbird, getting to do a burnout in a Superbird. Here's some more from Fusion as we say goodbye and thanks for hanging and watching what we do. We'll see you in the next one, you guys, later.